Hi everyone, it's Jessica. Thank you for joining with me today. So today I have these two pictures from last summer when I took my daughters along with a cousin to see the chicks in concert. And I was inspired by the recent March stamp of the month from close to my heart with uh, all those cute little chickens in there called Just Chicken In. I've pulled out some older papers from my stash. This is the Four Seasons Spring Collection. And I really thought that that pink flamingo color would work perfectly with the color of our shirts that we had made to wear to the concert. I don't have a pattern that I'm following for this particular layout, which if you've been here for a while, you know that's a little different for me. I do like to work off of patterns, but I am trying to break free of that, um, you know, and just kind of do whatever seems to work best for my photos. So uh, you'll see here in today's project that I do spend quite a bit of time moving things around and and playing with the placement of papers uh, because I struggled with where to put things. I knew I wanted to use this particular stamped image that has the four little chicks all together. I thought that was so cute. Um, and so I like to pull it off of the carrier sheet and then just use that uh, printed image on there as like a guide so that way I can get a feel for where I might put that stamp uh, once I have my layout you know, put together. So I try moving things around. I move the papers in a different orientation. Um, I am pretty certain that I want to have them like this though. Uh, just, you know, not sure if it's going to be on the bottom of the page, the top or the side. Um, but I do like having that little peak of yellow. Um, and that yellow pattern paper is actually just the back side of that pink polka dotted paper. Um, and it's that bright lemonade color. And in our shirts that we are wearing, we do have that yellow. And so I thought it was fun just to have that little a uh, bit of color in there and then I figured the chicks would be yellow too so I didn't want to have too much yellow um, but I just wanted to have that little stripe sitting there. I'm going to wait until I'm sure what I'm doing to actually cut my papers because I am working off of some scraps here. So after moving things around, I try flipping it upside down and immediately I do really like the look of the photos on the pattern paper. Um, I had thought before that they would sit in the white part of my layout, but I do really like them up in the pattern part. So I'm going to move on to the coloring of my chicks while I kind of marinate on uh, where to place the papers and the pictures on my layout. I'm just using my tri-blend markers and just doing some simple shading and coloring. I believe I used the light yellow and the citrus yellow markers and then I also pulled in um, one that had a little bit more orange to it for their feet and their beaks. I die cut a couple of extra pieces so that way I could glue them all together and stack them up for a little bit more of a chipboard like dimension. And now that I've got them cut out, I can actually move them around a little bit easier and play with the placement of things. So digging through that same older paper pack, there was this piece here that had a, a pretty green pattern on one side, but I didn't want to bring in any green, even though you can see the trees in our pictures. But the other side had a really light colored wood grain. And I thought maybe that would be a fun way to add on to my papers here and just have a little something extra rather than the white cardstock. So I'm going to try putting that on the bottom. And I do like the way that that looks. I'm struggling with this one single chick up here though. Um, I wasn't sure where to put him or how to use him. And so I'm pretty sure about the row of four, but it's that one little extra chick that I'm not quite so sure about. So now that I have all of my papers figured out, um, I did go ahead and edge distress them and then glue them down. Now I'm still not quite you know, certain how this is gonna go because I'm gonna move my pictures around a little bit. And again, I kind of mess around with the, the chickens just to see where they can go. I know that they need a place to sit. Um, I don't want them looking like they're floating, you know, in outer space on my layout. So I'm trying to create a place for them to sit and maybe like a nook or a cranny or something that I can build a little embellishment cluster. See here, that chicken just looks like he's floating in air above our heads. Um, but I did like switching around the two and putting the three by four on the left side and the four by six over on the other side. 
I went digging through my die cuts and I had these already cut and sitting in my little bowl of like unused die cuts and I thought maybe I could try pulling some of them in. I do have these vellum scalloped circles and I tried using the second one but I don't like it. I do like the look of the one tucked behind the row of four chickens though. And then I had this white scallop uh, cut out from my Cricut and again sitting in my bowl unused from an earlier project and I thought it would be cute just to tuck it behind my photos. I'm going to do one on top of one photo and one on the bottom of the other and I think that's just a fun way to kind of break up all of that color that is going on in the pattern papers and bring in just a little bit of white space. This is about where my cat Attic has decided to make an appearance. So um, he is just going to kind of walk through things, of course, and fling things off my table with his tail. So I'll kind of take a second to clean that up. I decided to work on my title um, and I thought maybe that would help me figure a couple more things out if I could visualize where the title was going to go and what it was going to be. Now I do want to use this uh, outlined alphabet thin cut set and because the outline part that cuts out is really thin and delicate, I am gluing two pieces of black cardstock together first. That way I can cut it out and already have a little bit of that stacked dimension, but I don't have to try to glue the single cutout sheets, you know, with those tiny little letters uh, once it's gone through my die cutting machine. So this is a trick that I like to do for lots of die cuts anyway, is just to glue my paper together first and then send it through and then that gluing is already done. But it works really well when you have these little delicate pieces like these letters. I was pretty sure I wanted to use the, out, the outlined letters as opposed to the inner pieces, but you can actually use both and you could even combine them together for a fun look, but I'm gonna go for the outlined one. Um, I played around with the title and I wanted it to be the title of one of the songs by the chicks or, you know, I still in my head call them the Dixie Chicks. I know they're the chicks now. Um, and the one that I thought would be a lot of fun for this picture of my cousin and I and our daughters would be Some Days You Gotta Dance. Um, I thought that that seemed like a, a fun title to show us, you know, here outside of the concert. Now, this is just a single page layout, but I do actually have a lot of other pictures from this day. Day. Um, and I felt like even though they were all from the same day, I had like different things going on. You know, we had the dinner and the walking around and shopping before the concert. And then we had these group photos outside of the venue. And then we also had some pictures from inside the venue during the concert. Now, the ones during the concert did not turn out at all. They are awful pictures. And so I still want to scrapbook them for, you know, memory purposes, but I think I'm going to do something where maybe I just put them in like a little, um, like a page protector where I can just slide them in and not necessarily make them onto a page. Um, and then I'll do the stuff from prior to the concert where we were out to dinner and walking around town and shopping. I will make that a separate layout. So I do have lots more to do for this particular event, but I just really loved these two group photos and wanted to make them their own special page. So there's my title that definitely helps me kind of visualize where I'm going here with my embellishments. And I do like the look of that vellum circle tucked behind the chicks, uh, the four chicks there. And I still want to bring in this one little guy because, you know, there's the four in the row and then there are five of us actually here at the concert. So I wanted to use five of the chicks because there are five of us attending the concert. So I struggled I struggled a little bit with where to put him, but I decided that he's kind of standing on that yellow stripe piece right there. So that makes him not feel like he's floating around. Um, and then I did have some of the same pink colored cardstock flowers, uh, just already punched out from a different project. So I tried using those like as embellishments, but I do pull them off. I don't really like them. I think I'm going to go with some enamel dots instead. So lots of fussing here. Um, in my head, I felt like I needed to build up my clusters. I'm like, especially where that little single chick is. I'm like, he needs, you know, a circle or something and he's got to have stuff coming out from behind him. And I, I felt like that's the way I do my other pages where I just have these little embellishment clusters that are built up a little bit more. And this felt like almost too plain. 
Um, and I was kind of struggling with that and trying to force myself to do things that didn't really work with this particular layout just so that I could build up an embellishment cluster. And once I kind of got over that and just said, you know what, this looks fine. And I like, I like the fact that it's kind of clean and simple looking. I was just able to put it down and move forward. So I think what I learned here anyway, in this particular project is that sometimes less is more and you don't always need to have all of the things, right? The, it, it turns out just fine anyway. Um, I think that the pattern papers in here are so bright and colorful and just sort of really pop off the page that I don't know that it really needs a lot of um, you know, ink blending or embellishment clusters or things like that. And so the simplicity just kind of worked, I think, for this particular layout. And like I said, I, I had to kind of accept that. And once I did, I was very happy with the way things started coming together. So if you noticed there, I did put my one uh, enamel dot down first on that vellum piece before gluing everything down because the thing about vellum is it's a little hard to glue down. You can see the adhesive behind it. And I knew I was gonna have that dot there. And so that gave me a place to put a little glue dot behind it and it would be hidden and help to keep that circle down. I'm gonna sprinkle a couple of other flamingo colored enamel dots. Um, I've got dots and stars. And I was trying to put one up here by my little single chick, but it just got lost because there are already dots on that pattern paper. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and put that back and not use it. We'll just have some down here in the bottom in the wood grain part. And then I thought it would be fun to put just a little something up in the top corner of that four by six. Um, so that's when I went to, this is the Taking It All In stamp set. It's from an album retreat that Close to My Heart did many years ago. It's one of my favorites. I actually use it often. And I remembered that it had these little music notes on it. And I wanted to bring in a little bit more of that black color since I have it in my title. And of course, we're at a concert. So I was super nervous. I was like, oh, please work. Please don't, you know, screw things up at this point. I hope it looks okay. Um, because I've already glued everything down and I'm stamping it directly onto my layout. Uh, it did turn out okay, but I was really, really hesitant and scared to do this, but I think it was okay. So it's just a nice little extra touch of black um, mixed into the layout since there was a lot of pink and yellow. And I just did a couple of music notes and then I put a few up by my little single chick as well. And then from that same stamp set, there was a little stamp that said fun times. So I stamped it on a flamingo circle and just popped it up on some foam tape. So you can see here the close up. Um, I really like that row of chicks. They're so cute. And that is going to be it. Like I said, um, I had to leave it clean and simple because that's what the layout was telling me it wanted to be. And I think that it turned out okay in the end. Um, and I really love this cute little chicken stamp set. And, you know, the girls and I had a really fun time. It was my daughter's very first concert. Um, they actually wanted to go to Taylor Swift and we couldn't get tickets. And so we settled on this and, you know, we're big fans of the Dixie Chicks. So it was a lot of fun. All right. Thanks for being here and watching with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Happy crafting. Bye.